it going guys? Uh, Parker Siegley here and today I'm here to teach you your first few tricks you're going to learn on your wakeboard. So once you're up and riding, the first trick that I'd suggest learning first is a surface 180 and the reason for that is, is it gives you a lot more of like a better feeling on your board when you're riding along and yeah just really all it is is riding along and then changing direction going the opposite way with your switch. So you're going to be riding along regular with the handle on your front hip. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and push that handle across to your other hip with your knees bent. And what that's going to do is it's going to switch that board around to switch and then you're just going to be riding along like normal. Yeah, a couple of common mistakes on uh, a Surface 180 is obviously not pushing that handle across to your opposite hip and yeah, also having your knees not bent enough. So yeah, riding switch, it's obviously going to feel pretty awkward first up, but once you do it more, you'll definitely get used to it and get the hang of it pretty quick, just like you were when you started riding regular. So after you've mastered the Surface 180, then you're going to want to make it a bit more fun and start going in the air. So the next thing you want to do is learn how to jump. Yeah, you can start off first of all by doing a couple small jumps into the middle. And then once you get confident doing that, you take them wake to wake and land down the other side. Once you've mastered the hillside wake to wake, then you want to do it toe side straight away. A lot of problems are that people learn it hillside because it's so much easier than toe side. And then they forget to do it toe side and yeah, it just really limits their riding to their toe side tricks. Yeah, so the keys to a, a sweet hillside wake to wake and toe side wake to wake is starting your edge out really wide. And what you want to do is you want to start your edge slow. And then as you're coming into the wake, you're going to build up speed. It doesn't have to be flat out, it just has to be really progressive into the wake. Or as you're cutting into the wake, you can have your knees bent. And as you take off the top, you push off the top and that also helps with the height. So yeah, with your jumps, you're going to start them out small. And once you're comfortable doing them small hillside and toe side, then you're going to figure out where you're going to land when you take them bigger wake to wake. The keys to a good landing is making sure when you land, you have your knees bent. You don't want to have them straight, otherwise it's easy to get bucked off and fall a bit wrong. So knees bent when you land and um, yeah, also having that handle on your front hip, that helps a lot as well because then you're always going to land straight. So pretty much you're just going to land on pretty well on the down ramp of the other side of the way. And yeah, that's really the smoothest spot to land. Obviously when you start getting a bit more confident, you can take it out into the flats, but to start with, you just want to be down that down ramp. That's the best spot to learn. So yeah, get out there. Don't be afraid to take a few falls because that's the way you're going you're gonna to be learning these tricks. Yeah, even us guys, we have our fair share of falls. So yeah, definitely don't be afraid to give it a go.